hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is faith and in this channel i talk about self-development self-growth and nursing generally nursing and specifically for those people who want to relocate to the u.s to practice nursing so welcome back if you are a new subscriber please subscribe and let's walk this journey together so today i'm going to talk about the general steps that someone will someone will expect to go through up to the time they will do their NCLEX exam okay sometimes if you get an agency they might pay for some of these processes or maybe if you decide to do them on your own you will pay for them by yourself some agencies will guide you, but they'll expect you to pay for most of these processes. So let's get into the processes. So the first process, and you'll excuse me because I'm looking at my, my notebook because I've written them down so that I give you the right sequence of the processes that I've gone through with experience so the first process is you have to apply for cgfns so cgfns is a body that usually evaluates your academic credentials so basically they evaluate your your high school academic your college and just to ensure that you have a license in the country that you are there currently so you sent your copies like from your are your high school certificate you're supposed to send it to the cgfns so that they can look at it you have to send your transcript from your school of nursing or university so that they can also look at it and ensure that you meet the academic status of the us rn and also you have to send your license, your nursing license and certificate from the Nursing Council of Kenya so that they can also look at it, ensure that you are really practicing in Kenya and your license is up to date. And what CGFNS needs is that you send those, the, the your institutions, send those academic papers or maybe certificates by their own you don't send them you yourself personally except maybe the the high school certificate you can upload it on their site you scan it and upload it but for your degree your diplomas you have to go to your school and request them to send a uh, another transcript directly from the school to the cgfns for the nursing council the certificate, the license, you have to go to the nursing council and request them to send us another license and a certificate by themselves to CGFNS. Don't send them yourself because CGFNS will reject it. So that's the first step. And the second step is you're supposed to, it happens maybe at Maybe at the same time, you are supposed to also make a profile or create a profile you are with your board of nursing that you will apply to. For my experience, I applied to the Texas Board of Nursing and you have to apply to that board. You'll pay some money and the board will send you forms that you are supposed to fill and then you send them back to them and also they'll send you the some fingerprint cards that you're supposed to go and put your fingerprints on them so that you send them back so that they can look at your background if you have any criminal like a criminal background they may they want just to make sure that you are a safe person and also they yeah that's basically the 
the board of nursing they will want to see your background they also will send you copies and you'll also do like for my case with the texas board of nursing you have to do a mini exam that you are supposed to look at the like the law generally the the code of nursing yeah specifically the law related to nursing according to the texas board of nursing so you have to do those two they also the the cgfns and the board application should almost take place at the same time and after you've done that when the cgfns approves your academic credentials they'll now they will now send them to the texas board of nursing and it will be updated on your on the board of nursing that you will of your preference it will be updated on the board of nursing and after you do that mini exam it will also be reflected there and then your license and all that will be reflected on the on the board of nursing profile that you've created it's basically almost the same as the nursing council portal profile that you you have here in kenya it contains all the details of you as a as a nurse so after you finish all those now the texas board of nursing will allow you to register for the exam so at after as you are doing all this you are supposed to be at least getting to know the about the NCLEX, studying for the NCLEX and preparing so that after all this takes place because the the process could take some time like the CGFNS could take up to maybe six weeks or maybe four months to approve your your academic credentials so within this period you are supposed to be doing just looking at the NCLEX looking studying about the NCLEX studying the nursing you use a lot of there are so many materials about the NCLEX you can start the process by you can you can go you can continue studying as you wait for these processes to be completed so after that after all this has been completed you now are allowed to skate to apply for an exam so you apply for an exam the 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 board of nursing will allow you to apply and then after some time they will give you an authority to test it basically allows you to now sit for the exam so after you've been given that authority to test you are supposed to do the exam within 72 days because that authority to test usually expires and if it expires you will be you will be now they'll now want you to pay more money or maybe to re-register which is money again so you are supposed to do the exam within the 72 days before the authority to test expires now after you now after that after you've gotten the authority to test you are supposed now to book to schedule a date that you are going to do that exam you will schedule a date within those 72 days and as you do this you're supposed to be studying about the NCLEX because NCLEX is a very tricky and weird exam that you just need to study for it yes you might be a nurse you are you are practicing you have the knowledge but the questions on the NCLEX are tricky you have to get the content and have build a very strong foundation with your nursing knowledge so that you can tackle those questions so basically that is, is is the process the steps up to the NCLEX so after you get 
the authority to test and your exam date comes you are supposed to travel um, Kenya or the in Africa right now most people go to India to test although India has been has been um, restricted in the recent past because of COVID so you have to go to you have to go to India or South Africa South Africa has a testing center you go there and you sit for your exam so basically those are the steps that you are supposed to to go through up to the NCLEX up to you sitting the NCLEX exam so that is the the far I've reached and right now I'm still in the process now of filing for visa and all that and after all those I'll come back with another video about that so stay tuned for more videos about the NCLEX about all these processes that I've just told you and thank you so much for watching thank you invite other people to who are interested in this kind of things to also watch and get informed about this process thank you so much please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time bye